this tea could really do with a biscuit. Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen. I figured it had been quite a long time since we've like made anything. I tried to make interesting sweets and drinks and things that one makes in a kitchen. I figured it had been a while and you know it's Christmas time. It's a time for baking and cakes and tra -la, la Baking is really not my forte, neither is cooking in general. I tend to be very bad at it. Oh if you hear if you hear birds, it's because there are birds, that's why. They're amazingly being quite quiet at the moment. So it's the holiday season and for a long time I wanted to try making gingerbread. I've never tried making gingerbread. In fact, the last time I made any cookies of any sort was about six or seven years ago and they were quite terrible. So this, for me, it was a huge challenge to try and make gingerbread. Everybody makes gingerbread men and gingerbread houses, but because it's me and because it's Christmas, I wanted to make something a little bit Christmassy but dark, if that makes sense. So I thought it only appropriate that in honor of my recent trip to Austria for Krampusnacht, I don't know if you saw that vlog, if you haven't, maybe I'll link it below for you. It was the best Christmas tradition I have ever experienced. It was completely wonderful and I'm totally making it an annual thing. So I thought in honor of that tradition, it would be only appropriate to make gingerbread Krampus. If you're not familiar with the tradition of Krampus, he's kind of the sinister companion of Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas rewards children for good behavior, whereas Krampus punishes them for bad behavior. He says it's totally still Christmassy, but it's still kind of scary. I like it. So if you've been looking for some festive baking inspiration, join me on my gingerbread Krampus adventure. The ingredients list for this gingerbread recipe calls for unsalted butter, brown sugar, this is not the kind of brown sugar that I'm used to but I hope it will be okay, white sugar, treacle, I don't really know what the Germany equivalent of treacle would be but um, this is the closest thing I could find, I hope it's the right sort of thing, ground ginger, cinnamon, ground cloves, baking soda, I think this is baking soda, I, I, I hope so, one egg, and flour. And the completely marvellous Edmunds Sure to Rise cookery book which is going to tell me how to do it. First I'm cutting the butter into lumps and placing it in a large mixing bowl. I don't have a large mixing bowl so I'm just using a pot. Into a different pot goes the sugar, the treacle and the spices. And that goes on the stove until it's all melted and boiling and I'm stirring it with a wooden spoon. And just as it's starting to boil, I'm adding the baking soda, which is supposed to make it froth up and turn a gold colour. Once it's all lovely and ready, I'm pouring the treacle mixture over the butter, and uh, it says stir well until the butter melts and the mixture is smooth, but that does not seem to be happening. The butter's all like, screw you, I'm going to stay all melted and separated. I thought, alright, screw it, I'll put in the egg and then I'll start adding the flour and maybe it'll all kind of absorb that way. And the flour goes in one cup at a time. It's now getting really hard and hurting my wrists a bit and I'm remembering why I hate baking. So from here I'm using my hands to finish mixing it together and knead it out onto a board. Once the dough is satisfactorily finished I am halving it and one half will go in the fridge later on. Then I'm rolling out the dough with a rolling pin until it's about mm, half a centimeter or seven millimeters ish thick. I flip the dough over onto a piece of baking paper to make it a bit easier to move around and with a knife I'm now just cutting out the shapes that I want my cookies to be. I already sort of drew out some designs on paper so I could have kind of an idea of what they should look like. I'm peeling away the excess dough which can be rolled out and used again. If you are a very young person watching this, do please be careful when using a knife or ask a grown-up to help you. Each piece is then carefully lifted and placed onto a sheet of baking paper on an oven tray. You can kind of experiment and do the horns different shapes or different numbers of horns, just draw out a few different designs, whatever.
Bake for 15 to 20 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius, it says, until firm to the touch and just beginning to brown. Now for the part that I thought I would enjoy the most but ended up kind of hating, which is decorating. I've got some white fondant, some black fondant and some red marzipan to decorate them with. I have never used roll fondant or marzipan before, this is a new experience, I don't really know what I'm doing. The fondant was profoundly hard to roll out but once I realised that if I warmed it up slightly with my hands it became a bit more malleable. I kind of rolled it out and placed the cookies over the top of it and cut around the shape of the cookie. It looked pretty rough to start with but I just sort of played around with it until I could figure out how to kind of use it properly and I found that if you go around the edges with water with a finger or a butter knife uh, it smoothens the edges and makes it a lot nicer looking. Once I was satisfied that the black looked mostly okay-ish, I moved on to the red marzipan. The marzipan was soft and really easy to shape. So I made a big long tongue, Krampus is usually seen with a long tongue hanging out his mouth, and also for some stripes on the horns. I then continued to tangle with the white fondant to cut out a pair of eyes and some teeth. I would suggest probably not using a serrated knife for this because it doesn't look that smooth, but that's unfortunately all I have. I decorated a couple more in the same fashion but now I kind of understood a bit better how to use the fondant so they sort of got progressively better and progressively easier. I wouldn't really call them perfect, but I feel like for a first ever attempt at making gingerbread, it's actually not that bad. Maybe you can do a better job of decorating. I've learned a lot from this experience. I've learned that I hate fondant <laughs> and that marzipan was a lot easier to work with. So perhaps the next time I try and make sinister looking cookies, it'll be all about marzipan. Something else you can do is before baking, you can poke a hole in it so that you can tie a ribbon through it later and hang it on your tree because these will actually last quite a long time. Yeah, I think you could totally do these in different shapes with different styles of horns, different faces. You could maybe do them profile from side on, maybe you could do Krampus' whole body. Quiet! You're really cute but you are so fucking loud. Like, I'm so excited that you're here! Apparently like when I'm not here for a couple of days they're really quiet but like they, they must like me or something because they're always like really noisy whenever I'm here. Anyway, I feel like these would be a really good gift for someone, someone that you don't really know what to get them then something if you don't have much money to spend, you know, make them a great big cookie. I'm sure that a lot of you out there are infinitely more talented than I am and could make way cooler cookies but uh, really this is just to give you an idea, something that I thought would be kind of cool and festive and Christmassy. I guess the only thing I have left to do is eat one. Mm. I feel like this is the one I kind of like the least so I guess this is the one I'm going to try. For scientific reasons we have to know if it tastes good. It's lovely. It's actually delicious. I'm so proud of myself. These taste really good. I didn't hate the process of baking so much. I feel like the result is usually quite worth it but then oh, I just hate baking but it's delicious. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go make my 19th cup of tea of the day and eat the rest of this now. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my lovely channel. I do hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I'm about to enjoy eating this gingerbread cookie. If you've enjoyed my gingerbread making adventures, I'm actually pretty pleased with how they turned out. I mean, I feel like they could look a little bit better, but overall I'm not that disappointed. I think for my first go, they're all right. What do you think? Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen with my two noisy birds. As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, Grusel and Krampus, and I'll see you next time. Bye!